Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a declutter. Now, I don't want to call this necessarily a declutter. It might be like a declutter slash collection video just because I don't know how much of it I'm going to get rid of. And I just wanted to film it. Um, this is going to be my intro for all my declutter videos, so just keep that in mind. I have a lot of stuff and I need to get rid of it, but a lot of the stuff I still need to try out. So, like I said, it's gonna be a process but yeah so without further ado I know you guys love seeing these declutter videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget if you're not subscribed to my channel subscribe that helps me out a lot and let's go ahead and get into the declutters all right you guys the time has officially came it is time to declutter my highlights oh I've been avoiding this section just because I love highlights as you can tell I have a lot a lot of them I don't even use a lot of them I keep just because they were popular back in the day or popular now and I just keep it for that reason and I want to try to get out of that and delete some of those popular ones that I don't even use anymore so yeah let's go ahead and get started but before we do if you hear noise it is my AC it is just way too hot in this house not to have it on and I need the door open so yeah, so let's start with my liquids. Um, I am not even, oh, this is actually liquids and loose powders, loose highlighters. So I am not a liquid type of girl, so I don't even know why I have so many liquids in here. So the first one I have is from Jouer. It's just a stick that looks like this. I did get it at JC, uh, not JC Penney's, TJ Maxx or Marshall's. I can't remember what, where, but I haven't even used it. So I'm going to go ahead and just declutter this one. Let me make some room actually because I'm going to set everything on the top that I'm not going to use. Then I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. I do like this highlighter stick a lot actually. Well, it's not a stick, it's like a liquid. This looks like this. I actually like this better than the uh, contour wand. I know I've said a lot of times that I do not like these from her, but I've actually changed my mind only on the blushes and the highlighter I still don't like the contour ones but I do like this one so I am gonna go ahead and keep this one then I have this lotion I'm gonna go ahead and keep it but move it to another drawer then I have this one from cover effects this is the custom enhancer drops in the shade which shade is this self celestial um I haven't even used it I don't even know if I'm gonna use it to be honest let's see let's see what it looks like it is really pretty Oh my goodness, this is the problem with highlights. I just, I don't know, this is what it looks like. That is really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna keep it for now. And if I don't use it within the next couple of months, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Then I have this one from Becca. It's champagne pop, but in a liquid form. I actually put this in with lotion and this is what I got. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that for now. Then I have this one from Anastasia. It's the liquid glow just looks like this in the shade pearl um ch -ch -ch -ch, i don't know actually let's see i don't know if i want to keep this one and get rid of this uh one from cover effects that is really pretty i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it just because i am not gonna use it so that can go, and as a matter of fact, now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the cover effects one just because I'm not going to use it. I need to stop. I just need to stop. <laughs> then I have this little itty bitty one from Marc Jacob. It's the Do You Do Drops. It just looks like this. It is a small one, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. I do want to try that out. Then I have the Benefit What's Up. just looks like this. Now this is one of those products that I don't think I've ever used it. See? That was really raved about back in the day and I finally got my hands on it and then I was like all right you know I have it <sighs> but realistically am I gonna use it and how am I gonna use it that's the question it is really pretty it's kind of just a little bit too subtle for me um shoot I'm gonna put this in the maybe because I'm not 100% sure yet then I have this one from Makeup Revolution. It's the Euphoric Gold Liquid in the shade Euphoric, Euphoric Gold, I guess. 
Um, it's kind of like a dupe for the, what is it, the cover effects one. Ooh, this one's really pretty. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to keep this one because actually this one has more of a glow to it. So I'm going to keep that. Then I have this one from Jaclyn Hill. It's a loose highlighter. It's in the shade Bomb. It's in the new packaging. I'm going to go ahead and keep it just because I just barely got it. And I actually bought this so I could have it for summertime. Then I have this little itty bitty one from, where is this from? Bare Minerals. I got this at Marshall and it's in the shade Pure Radiance. It does look like this. I'm going to go ahead and keep that for now. Then I have this one from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetic in the old packaging. This was actually, I think, the holiday edition. I'm not 100% sure. It's in the shade Extra. I really do like this one for a pop of color, so that's going to stay. Then I have two from Artist Couture. I have them in the shade uh, Illuminati and Coco Bling. It just looks like this. One is more gold and the other one is more sh uh, like a champagne color. I'm going to go ahead and keep these. I really do like those a lot. Then I have these ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Vegas and So Hollywood. I remember trying, I think it was So Hollywood and it was a little bit too dark for me. So I am going to go ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of both of these because I don't need it. Then I have this one from Juvia's Place. It's in the shade Cleo. It just looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and keep it because I don't think I have anything from Juvia's Place as far as highlighter goes. Then I have this one from Wet n Wild. It's a loose highlighting powder. Um, it's in the shade I'm So Lit. I really do like this loose highlighter. This is like one of my favorite ones. So this is going to stay. Let's move on to the next bucket. Ooh. Um, right here up in the front, I have this one from Catrice. It's the More Than Glow Highlighter in the shade Supreme Rose Beam number two. Just looks like this. I didn't like the way it looked on my skin. It looked muddy. Not muddy, ashy is more of the word I like to use. Um, dang, it looks pretty on my hand, but oh i don't know i just got this too it's not that old i'm gonna go ahead and try it out some more and see if maybe um i don't know i applied it wrong or something we'll see i'm gonna put that in my vanity so i could use it and test it out some more then i have this one from nyx it's the high glass illuminating powder just looks like this this is in the shade moon glow i really do like this highlighter it's just really pretty it's like a Oh, it's like a creamy formula. I should be pulling this out to play with it some more. Just looks like that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but it's right there. So that's going to stay. Then I have a couple from MAC. I have the shade Double Gleam. The Extra dim Dimension Highlighters. Looks like that. This is going to stay. Then I have that um, one from MAC again. It's the Whisper of Guilt Highlighter. This one is a little bit too dark for me, but... Summertime is rolling around, so I think I can make it work. I'm actually going to turn you guys down just a little bit because I feel like you guys are too bright. That might be better. Then I have this one from Milk. It's the Flex Highlighter in the shade Iced. Just looks like that. Um, I haven't really used it. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to go ahead and keep that for now. Then I have this one from Pure. It's the Afterglow Highlighter Illuminator. Just looks like this. Um, let's see. Shoot. It's hard to tell like what these highlighters look like. Um, I'm going to put this one in my maybe because I'm not 100% sure. I like it, but then it might be a little bit too yellow for me. Then I have this one in LA Girl. It's the Strobe highlighter in 50 watts it just looks like this um looks like that oh that's pretty i'm gonna keep this one yeah this is really pretty then i have this one from estee lauder it's the heat wave highlighter i gotta be very careful with this because this is broken just looks like that i really like this highlighter so this is gonna stay then i have a couple from pixie i have three from pixie i have cream and gold and then i have santorini and luster london luster i'm for sure gonna keep london luster i really do like this highlighter i actually like pixie highlighters they're very 
blingy and yeah so this one is gonna stay um where's that this one i'm not 100 this gold one Let's see let's swatch it i haven't even used it on my face to be honest oh that's pretty okay yeah i'm gonna keep all these pixies because i really do like pixie formula so those can stay then I have this one from Dior, woo, from Dior. it's the uh, Nude Luminizer in 01. This is not my favorite, but I keep it because it's Dior and she was expensive. Dior highlighter is not my favorite, but like I said, she was expensive. Um, it looks a little bit too dark. I'm going to keep it for the summertime, see if it works for me, and then if it doesn't work out, I'll go ahead and get rid of it. Then I have this one from Lancome. It's the Dual Finish Highlighter in the shade Summer Summery, Shimmering Buff 01. It just looks like this. I tried this once and I didn't like it. It didn't really, it wasn't blingy like I thought it would be. It's a cream to powder. Yeah, that's a very, very, very subtle. Hmm. Uh, it is pretty though but it's very very subtle I'm going to go ahead I'm going to keep it just because I did purchase this not too long ago and yeah I'm going to try to see if I can get some more uses out of it before I tell you highlighters are like one of those things I'm not going to put it in this this is too hard to do um, highlighters is just one of my favorite things I can't it's hard for me to get rid of then I have this one from Physicians Formula it's the what is this? Vega Strip uh, Light Bronzer. <sighs> to be honest, I don't even think I've used it on my face. Oh yeah, that's a little bit too dark for me. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Let me see. What did I do? Let's see. I feel like I'm confusing myself just a little bit, but that's okay. Then I have this one from Pretty Vulgar. It's the Shimmering Swan 41 Glimmers of BS. Just looks like this. Sorry if you can hear the ice cream man. I'm just going to get rid of it just because it's a little bit too powdery for me. It doesn't have enough sparkle to it. So that can go. Then I have this one from Jouer. It's the Powder Highlighter in Citrine. Just looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Then I have this one from Revlon. It's the light skin uh, in the shade 201 Daybreaker Glimmer. Just looks like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and what do I want to do? It is pretty. <sighs> so hard to get rid of these. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put this in the maybe. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see. Then I have this one from CoverGirl. It's the Peach Punch Highlighter. This looks like this. Um, again, I haven't used it on my face. You know what? This one's a little bit... Oh, yeah, that's too glittery. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. It's too glittery for me. So that can go... Then I have this one from LA Colors Highlighter. It's in the shade Jazzy. I love LA Colors products. They are so good. You can get them at the 99 cent store, Dollar General, places like that. And for such, like, I think they're under $5. I'm pretty sure like a dollar or two. This is such a good formula. And I just, I can't believe you could get it for that cheap. So yeah, I really like this highlighter a lot. So I'm going to keep this one. Then I have a few from Wet n Wild. Um, Precious Petals, Golden Flower Crown, Blossom. I know for sure Precious Petals is getting old now like as you can tell I've really used this one I don't even know if you could get this highlighter anymore but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep all my wet and wild ones just because it um, it has memory for me so and I don't know if you could get him so I'm gonna keep that then I have this one from NARS it's the Albert uh, what is this Albert Albatross sorry looks like that um, again a highlighter that I haven't used on my yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, I don't really like highlight highlighters like this anymore. This one has like a yellow shift to it. almost looks green, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. Then I have this one from NARS. It's the 
Fort de France highlighter just looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I remember really liking it, so that could stay. Then I have this one from Nabla. It's the Skin Glazing in Ozone. Um, this isn't my favorite, but it is kind of newer to my collection, and I do want to get some more use out of it, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one from now. Then I have this one from Pixie. It's the Glow Delicate Dew Duo. Um, this one, this this is so, so, so beautiful. If you could get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite highlighters in my collection. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Then I have this one from Juvia's. Oh, I do have a Juvia's. Um, shoot. It's almost too frosty for me. Almost. Gosh darn it. But I can mix it, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep it for now. Uh, let's see. Then I have this one from Anastasia and Amarizi. This is not going anywhere. I think I said about another highlighter, like, oh yeah, Pixie, I think it was like my favorite highlighter of all time. No, this is hands down my favorite highlighter of all time. They need to bring this highlighter back. I think out of all the Anastasia highlighters they've ever done, this one was the best one. Then I have this one from Natasha Denona. It's the Super Glow and Zero One Fair. It's the, what is this? It's the Dual Chrome Highlighter. It just looks like this. It's not my favorite, but it was expensive. It's because it's hard to get any pigment off from it. Um, actually, I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. We'll see. I'll get back to that one. So that is it for this section let's go ahead and move on to another one and I feel like I'm doing pretty good like I have some space if I want to put more in um so yeah so let's go ahead and do this one um this is gonna be hard I have these from jcat beauty it's the what is this you glow girl baked highlighter in the shade white goddess and crystal sand I have a feeling I'm going to have to get rid of White Goddess just because it might be a little bit too yellow, like that yellow green. Oh, looks like that. You know, I'm going to keep it just because it doesn't pull so green as the other one did. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Then I have this one, the Crystal Sands. that is pretty I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of them for now this one I might get rid of eventually but right now no then I think these are all yeah these are all from Maybelline well this one's from L'Oreal it's the crushed foil metallic highlighter I don't even know if you can get this anymore Ooh, that is creamy but that is too dark for me it's that top one right there I don't know if you could see it this one right here it's too dark I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it and then these other ones that I have, I know I'm going to keep 100 Molten Gold and 250. That's going to stay. This one is Molten Rose Gold. I think I might get rid of it just because I don't really like Rose Gold highlighters. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's a little bit too dark for me, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. And then finally, for this little section, I have this Melt stargazer highlighter um it's not my favorite as you can tell i haven't really been using it <sighs> let me see i just got it not too long ago it does look pretty when you swatch but on the cheeks for some reason it doesn't look good i'm gonna give this one more shot and if it doesn't if i don't use it within the next declutter or if i find myself not using it i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it so this one is gonna stay though for now then I don't want to talk about this brand too much because they are in, they are in some hot water right now. But it is from Ofra. Um, I really do like these highlighters. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna keep Pillow Talk for sure. I'm going to let me swatch these. These are uh, Glow Goals and Blissful. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep them for now but I don't want to feature them in my channel too much right now just because I don't know what the status is of that whole situation so but 
just gonna, it is what it is for right now. And then I have two more. I'm gonna keep Star Island and Glazed Donut. Then I have this one from Bobbi Brown. It's the Afterglow Shimmer Brick Highlighter. Just looks like this. Um, this might be too dark for me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. It's just a little bit too dark for me, so that could go. Actually, I'm surprised I'm getting rid of a lot more than I thought I would, so. Yay to me. Uh, let's see. Then I have this one from Bare, Mino Bare Minerals. It's the Invisible Glow. Um, fair to light just looks like this I don't really like highlighters like this however this does have like a pretty sheen to it so I am going to go ahead and keep it for now and then this one I do like but it is broken it's from uh, I Heart Revolution in the shade Rose Gold Glow just looks like this I think oh yeah I dumped out the pink one because I didn't I this is the one I like the best it's so blinding so I'm going to go ahead and keep it because I do like this highlighter a lot let's see and then last section I have this one from Milani it's the baked highlighter in Dulce, Dulce Perla 110 I don't think I haven't even used it yet on my channel I kind of using it yeah that's really pretty I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one then I have another one from Milani it's a duo it's a highlighter duo power up 120 just looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and keep it because I plan on using it for a video. And I have swatched it. It was really pretty. Then I have this one from Milani. It's the Hypnotic Light Highlighter in Luster Light 03. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, I'm going to open that in a little bit to see if that's even a color that I like. Then I have this one from Milani. It's the Strobe Light Afterglow Highlighter. Just looks like this. Um... I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it just because it's not blingy like I like. So that can go. Then I have a couple more from Bare Minerals. This one is in the shade Fierce. Just looks like this. Oh, that might be too dark. Oh, yeah, this is way too dark. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. And then this one is from shade joy it looks like this however it looks dark in the pan but when you swatch it and put it on your cheeks it doesn't oh does it shoot um it doesn't if you share it out it doesn't look so dark i'm gonna go ahead and keep it for now and then uh if i put it on my cheeks and it looks too dark then i'll get rid of it so that could stay then i have this one from laura mercier it's the highlight 01 i'm gonna go ahead and keep it i really do like that one okay cool so we got rid of couple from this drawer actually I can move stuff around because yeah I'm gonna have to do this a little bit later but as you can tell I have room now so let's go ahead and move on to the next one then I have let's see I have Clinique Lunar Pop um I didn't get this not that long ago that is pretty I'm gonna go ahead and keep it then I have this one from uh, Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter, uh, something Addict. I got this at Marshalls. Let's see, is it too dark for me? It might be too dark. Yeah, it's a little bit too dark for me. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, let's see. Then I have this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade... 01 be my highlight now this is one of the highlighters that i was telling you that like there's highlighters in my collection that i don't like but that are like really popular or nostalgic to me and this is one of those highlighters i don't i didn't like it just because it didn't give me enough bling but then when i put it on my cheeks it looks pretty uh, no i'm gonna get rid of it i've had it sitting in my collection and i haven't used it so i'm just gonna get rid of it then I have this one from Mary Lou. It's the just the Mary Lou highlighter, I guess. Just looks like this. It's not my favorite, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Then I have this one from Laura Geller. It's the baked highlighter duo in French vanilla and Portof Portofino. Just looks like that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Then I have this one from Tarte. It's the exposed highlighter. This isn't my favorite highlighter. It's really hyped up. Um, 
but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because I need to get some more use out of it. It does look pretty swatched, but then I have this one from Hard Candy. This is supposed to be a bronzer. I think this is in the shade Tiki, but people used to use it as a highlighter. It is really pretty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. It is really old, but it's nostalgic, and I just can't see myself getting rid of it just yet. Then I have this one from Too Faced. Too Faced. It's the Candlelight Glow Highlighter. Um, this one is in, sh in the shade Warm Glow. I did get this deck at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. That is really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Then I have this one from Patrick Star. It's the Hot and Heavy Highlighter Palette or hi Highlighter. Just looks like this. Um, it might be a little bit too dark for me though. Uh, not quite. It's not too dark, but I'm just going to go ahead and pass it along just because I haven't used it and I should be getting rid of it. Then I have these ones from Too Faced. It's the Love Light Blind Blinded by the Light and Ray of Light. These are uh, not sold anymore, I don't think. I did get it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get rid of Ray of Light. And then I'm going to keep Blinded by the Light. I have some of these box highlighters. I have Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. Um, I don't think I've used it yet. I think I just swatched it. I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now so I can try it. Then I have Benefit Cookie, my all-time favorite. Then I have a couple of these Urban Decay highlighters. I have it in Sin and Aura. Uh, these are another one that I just I don't want to get rid of because yeah, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep both of them. I'm going to keep Sin and Aura. Then I have this one from Urban Decay. It's the Space Powder. I got this like at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. That is really pretty, but way too glittery for my face. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that one along just because I was going to move it to my eyeshadow door, but I have way too many eyeshadows as it is. So, yeah, so this section's done. This section's done. I think I can move this here. Okay, cool. I got to get some more now last section in this one then i have this one i have another laura oh this one's laura mercier um devotion just looks like this i don't know if i'm gonna keep it it might be too pinky Let's see. um shoot i can't decide if i want to keep it or not oh i'm gonna put this in the maybe because i'm not 100 percent sure yet then I have this one from Dior. You can't get this anymore. I got this during the holiday. It's the Dior Backstage Face Glow Face Palette in Rose Gold. They should have never got rid of this palette. It is so freaking beautiful. I love this palette. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it, but Dior needs to bring this one back. I love it. Then I have this one from Anastasia. This is the... This is supposed to be the... Uh, which one is this one? Supposed to be... It's supposed to be the Starlight Highlighter, but I got this at the Swap Me. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I'm just going to get rid of it just because I think I got I got suckered into a fake product. So this is going to go. Then I have these from Stila. I have it in the shade Kitten and Brilliance. It's the Heaven Hughes Highlighter. This one is oh, Kitten, if I could open it. Oh, yeah. This looks like this. This is a little bit too dark for me, but I think I can make it work. And yeah, I can make that work. And plus, it's Stila, so I'm keeping that. And then, let's see, am I going to keep Brilliance? Yeah, that one's not too dark for me, so that can stay. Then I have a couple from Lorac. I have the shade Celestial. I'm going to keep this one because this one is my favorite from uh, Lorac, so... This is going to stay. Yeah, that's so pretty. And that's going to stay for sure. Then I have Moonlight. Just looks like this. Mm. Do I want this one? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one just because it doesn't look good on my skin. And then finally, I have Starlight. Shoot, this one looks too powdery. Well, that's better. Um, I'm going to keep it for now. 
So now we have one more little section to go through. Okay, so this is my last bin of highlighters to go through. I did off camera decide which ones I wanted to keep and get rid of from the navy pile. And I cannot believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to get rid of these four. I'm going to get rid of the Milani, the Pure, the Laura Mercier, and Devotion, and then the Natasha Denona um, highlighter that looks like this. I just It doesn't look good, and I just want to get rid of it now. So this was such a waste of money because this was really expensive, but all those are going to go. And so far, I have this big old thing of highlighters that I'm getting rid of. So I am actually really proud of myself with that. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this last one. I don't think I'm going to get rid of a whole lot just because these two roll mainly are my Becca's and since Becca's not going, I mean, since Becca's going out of business, there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to keep all of them. So, but first I have these bigger ones in my uh, collection. I have the Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch Highlighter. Just looks like this. This was one of my very first highlighters that I purchased when I was getting into makeup. Um... Casey Holmes raved about this highlighter and that was one of the first YouTubers that I ever watched so this is very uh, sentimental to me and I'm gonna go ahead and keep it it's probably no good to use no more but I don't care I'm gonna keep it then I have this one from Makeup Revolution it's a skin kiss in the shade uh, ice kisses or ice kiss like that let me swatch it real quick just to see cuz I might not no it's pretty I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna keep this one as well and then I'm gonna keep this one um, it's in the shade ice cold just because I did pay for it with my own, own money and I do like that highlighter but I'm not purchasing from that brand as of lately so that can stay for now now Becca um, I'm just gonna go through these really quickly because like I said I don't think I'm gonna get rid of anything this one is Spanish rose gold it just looks like this I keep a lot of these just for collectors purposes purposes so um that can stay this one in royal glow um oh yeah this one's pretty i like this one because it has the crown i don't know if you could tell but that's gonna stay i should really use this on my cheeks then i have this one in lilac geode i think it's how you say it just looks like this let me swatch it real quick to see oh yeah i like that that's gonna stay uh, Moonstone's gonna stay, Prosecco Pop's gonna stay, and Opal's gonna stay. So this whole row right here is gonna stay. These little mini ones I have, I think there's only one mini that I wanna check. The Rose Quartz one, it just looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it to see. Oh, that didn't swatch very good. Let's see. Hmm. Shoot. I'm going to keep it for now just because if I get rid of it, I'm going to regret it later. I don't want to regret it, so that can stay. Then this one, I have Sunset Waves. What does this one look like? Um, uh, this one's like a bronzer and a highlighter all in one. Let me see. Ooh, that is really pretty. I'm actually going to move this to my bronzer drawer because, if anything, that is more of a bronzer than a highlighter so I don't know why that's there oh I know why this is here because I wanted to keep all my Becca stuff together but I don't think if this is with everything that's Becca I don't think I'm gonna use it I think I'll use it more if I put it with my bronzer so that's gonna go back in my bronzer drawer then I have ocean glow and endless bronze glow let's see what this one looks like endless bronze glow this one's pretty just looks like that um i'm gonna keep that because that is really pretty packaging and then well pretty pack uh, pretty design and then this one i'm gonna get rid of this one um this one is in the shade ocean glow oops the thing came out just because oh i don't know you know what no i'm gonna keep it i can't i told you i don't i don't i can't I just I just can't okay <laughs> then I have these ones from dose of colors it's the supreme glow I have it in ice you baby and milk and honey I got these um in a discount at Ulta because I don't think dose of colors is at I mean at Ulta anymore so that's this one right here which is in the shade milk and honey and then I have 
Ice baby, ice shoe baby. Shoot. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Ice shoe baby, I'm going to keep. You know what? I'm going to keep both of these. I do like them. I'm going to keep both of these dose of colored ones. Um, let's see, that could go there. Then I have some of these lower Geller ones. I have it in the shade Gilded Honey, Ballerina, and Peach Glow. I know I like, which one did I like? Or maybe I don't like, care for any of them. Let me, let me swatch them real quick. Hold on. That's Ballerina. This one is Peach Glow. And then this one is Gilded Honey. This one's really popular. It was popular. I'm going to go ahead and keep all of, all of them. I've done pretty good in decluttering. I feel like the ones that I want to keep for collector's purposes, I could keep. So those are going to stay. Um, let's see. I have a little Jouet. It's in the shade Rose Gold. Let's see. Just looks like this. Uh, oh, that's pretty. Okay, that's going to stay. Then I have this one from e.l.f. It's the Glow Moonlight Highlighter. Um, oh, I might get rid of this because it might be too icy. Oh, yeah, that's too icy. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, let's see. Then I have my ColourPop ones I'm not going to get rid of. I have this one from Luna by Luna. Uh, let's see. Let's swatch it and see. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm going to keep that. This one from Koki Cosmetics. It's in the shade Gleaming. It just looks like this. Um, shoot. Let's see. This doesn't really show up for some reason. It just looks... Oh, I swatched it in the wrong... Side. Let's see. I don't know. I feel like I have to work too hard to get any pigment from it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Then I have this one from Maybelline. It is an eyeshadow, but it's in the shade The Glow Down. I remember this used to be talked about. As you can tell, I've even hit pan. Um, this is an eyeshadow, but people used to use it as a highlighter. I remember loving this. Yeah, I think I still do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep that one as well. Then I have this little bitty one from Bobbi Brown. It's in the shade Pink Glow. Just looks like this. Um, I remember having a full size and then I don't know what happened to it. I'm going to keep that one. And then I have this one from Too Faced. It's the Candlelight Glow in Rose, Rose Glow. Yeah, it just looks like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep this one as well. Okay, so let me do some rearranging and then I'm going to count how many highlighters I got rid of and then I will let you guys know. Give me one second. Alright you guys, I got rid of 27 highlighters I am super 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 impressed I'm happy with that I didn't think I was gonna get rid of that many so 27 highlighters is a lot um, I know I do still have a lot of highlighters in my collection but I like highlighters and like I said I didn't think I was gonna get rid of that many so this is what my drawer is looking like now I definitely can fix some stuff around so maybe get rid of like one whole one I'm gonna have to do it off camera but Frank for right now this is what it's looking like I actually I might just keep it like this just because I have room like here in the back here right here right here you know right here right here you know just in different spots where I could add because I do have other highlighters in my collection that are actually in my desk actually that I'm testing out or trying or that I have to try out so stuff like that but yeah so this is what it looks like again 27 highlighters that is really good 
Um, I don't know which category I'm going to do next, but we will see. And don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the, hit the like button. Sorry, if you guys like these types of videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.